Starting at line three, you testified to being bent over backwards on the bar, right? Bent over backwards, dude, like, uh, like I'm not flexible. Maybe she's a fucking, like, rubber band or something. Okay, I think it, she's bent over backwards, uh, uh, being uh, assaulted, being penetrated with an inanimate object, while her bare feet are slipping and being cut open on the, the hard floor with shards of glass. Just from the cuts on your feet alone, it would be hard to walk for like the next couple of days, if not weeks. There is not enough blood on those floors in those pictures for her, her feet to have been cut open by the last the glass shards like that. And then feeling the pressure on your pubic bone like Mr. Depp was punching you. Yes? That's what I thought. And then further down on page 4521 and on to 4522, you testified that you were concerned Mr. Depp was using a broken bottle on you. That was my fear. That's what I remember feeling. You remember feeling that you were being penetrated by a broken bottle. They're like, this is even too ridiculous for Hollywood. I think you would know if there was a broken bottle. Like, I don't even want to think about it. And you testified that this is a picture of the bottles that were next to Mr. Depp on a desk when you found him drinking in the morning, right? That's correct. And this was the morning after Mr. Depp had allegedly sexually assaulted you. Right? It was the morning after he did assault me. Yes. And if I understood your testimony correctly, you testified that this is the maker's mark bottle that Mr. Depp sexually assaulted you with. I was never sure it was, but it was definitely that shape. It felt like that shape. But you testified in this courtroom that you would not- It was definitely that shape. It felt like that shape. If it was that bottle, look, there's still alcohol in it. The cap's off. To be fair, you know, you could say maybe after Johnny used it on her, he ended up drinking from it. And that's why the cap's off. Even with the cap on, there's still liquid in it. So if he's penetrating her with it, you know, going back and forth, there would be splashing. A super heavy glass bottle. And it'd be like splashing like this. She said she didn't even know it was a bottle. She thought she thought at first like his fist was there. Like you would fucking know. You would hear it. And then and then that way you would know it's not broken. Right, if you hear the splashing and it's not just spilling all over inside you. Also, there's like that red rubbery stuff. The cap is hard. Like it's just, it doesn't make any sense. I think, I think the liquid would be like just an obvious, it just it doesn't even seem like it would be possible. Like how would you even, oh, to do that to somebody, like you would be bleeding a lot because you would have to really force it in there. There would be no lubrication with that rubber and Exactly, it would rip her apart. She wouldn't be able to walk from that, she wouldn't be able to walk from the cuts, and she didn't even take one fucking photograph. And this doesn't even include the beatings. It's like bent over with the cutting on her feet. It's just, it's way too fucking much. It's crazy Hollywood. You claim you had serious injuries after this alleged incident, right, Miss Heard? Depends on what you would call serious for me. Uh... Depends on what you call serious for me. My, my badge getting ripped open by a potentially broken glass bottle. Oh, well, okay. By, I'll give her the, I'll give her the, by an unbroken glass bottle. My feet being sliced open by shards of glass while I'm being penetrated by this glass bottle and being choked with like my bat over a countertop and being beaten in the face and having glass being thrown at me. Yeah, like I don't really consider that a serious injury. I don't know what like injuries you consider serious, but like I'm just super tough. Yo, dude. <laughs>